FLIR Tools provides a simple and convenient way to transfer images from your FLIR camera to the PC. Simply power up the camera and connect it to the USB port on your PC. When you open FLIR Tools with the camera connected, a window will appear with four options. In this case, I want to import some images, so I can click this button. When FLIR Tools finds the camera, it will begin to create thumbnails for all images and videos that are currently on the camera. Modern cameras store the matching visual photo embedded in the IR JPEG. With legacy cameras, the IR and matching photo will be grouped automatically. By default, all images found are selected for import. The control key or the shift key on the keyboard can be used to select specific images and videos. If an Ultramax image is selected, you can use this checkbox to enhance the image resolution during the import process. You can choose to import selected images or import all images from the camera. In this case, I will choose to import all images. The next step is to choose an existing folder or to create a new folder for the images. I will create a new folder here. Click Import to copy the images from the camera to the selected folder. The default folder in the library is the FLIR folder. It is important to note that the folders shown in the library are shortcuts to folders on your PC. We can see by pointing to the folder that this is located in the user's My Documents folder. If you right click, you can open the containing folder in Windows Explorer to see the contents. You can use the Add button to add folders from other locations on your PC. Once added to the library, the folder contents will be indexed automatically. Folders can be removed from the library by selecting Options and then the Library tab. Select the folder and click Remove Folder. This doesn't delete the folder, it simply removes the shortcut from the library. Images can be deleted from the library if you right-click and select Delete. Library subfolders can also be deleted. The folder contents will be sent to the recycle bin. If you right click on an image, you can clone or copy the image. This gives you two identical images to work with. You can also extract the cropped photo from an MSX image or extract the full photo. This uses the full visual camera resolution.